Okay, this video is about building the Wolverine amplifier. Starting your build. So, it helps to organize your parts first. I usually split parts into resistors, capacitors, semiconductors, and hardware or connectors. Before you start building your boards, it's a good idea to wipe them down with isopropyl alcohol to remove any manufacturing residue so your soldering is more successful. Start by test fitting the headers as per the build guide. The female header goes towards the bottom. Make sure the alignment doesn't place any stress on the connector pins. I found that 6mm nylon spacers with a 1.5mm nylon washer fitted perfectly in the round pin headers that I used. Solder the pins carefully without overheating the connectors. After that it's time to move on to making the small PCV mounted heat sinks. After a bit of cutting and drilling, this is my first try for the trial fitting and it was in 1.6mm aluminium. I might change to slightly thicker aluminium, say 2mm, so I can tap threads instead of using M3 nuts. So the next part, fit the wire links and solder the vias. You can see the vias here, circled in red, and the wire link down the bottom here and uh, I would suggest to use a thin piece of wire to help the solder wick through the vias. On the main board there's some areas with vias too. These handle a lot more current so I would suggest to use a bit more heat and a bit more solder and make sure that the solder flows through to both sides of the board. Next step make some small wire links and solder them in as per the build guide. Tin the ends so you don't get any stray hairs and install the links once again per the build guide. The first parts that I would solder to the board are the smallest parts starting with the surface mount capacitors. You can solder them by hand or use flux paste, solder paste and a hot air rework station. That's the finished result. You can see that the board needs cleaning. We'll touch on that subject in an upcoming video. If you chose the Dale type resistors, install them with the value facing up so it's easy to see when you inspect the board. I tend to mount them flush and then bend the leads out before I solder. I would suggest for the resistors over one quarter of a watt, to raise them about two millimeters off the board before you solder them in. I like to check the values as I install them. Cut the leads off close to the board after soldering the resistors in. I usually like to bend the legs with a bending tool so they fit the, into the PCB nicely. Don't forget to use the matched resistors where indicated in the build guide and the bill of materials. So when installing the LEDs, the anode is the positive lead and it's also the longer of the two legs. Once you've soldered them in, you can do a quick check with the diode function on your digital multimeter. This is just a sanity check to make sure they're the correct way around. Also, it looks kind of cool. 
Don't forget to raise up the resistors which are a higher power rating than one quarter of a watt. Raise them off the board by about two millimeters or so. I forgot, now I need to re-solder them. See the example above circled in red. So here's my progress so far. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, just a quick look at the board. Uh, I used the black colored boards for this build. So in my next video, I plan to finalize the Wolverine input stage boards and test them. I'll discuss some transistor options in the next steps. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget the subscriber competition.